Okay, so before I had a chance to even get started with any recordings, this this girl decides to just pipe up. I was like, oh, hey, you know, Adams wants to talk to you down in engineering. Well, okay, I'll go talk to Adams, but can you at least comb your jets for a few moments while I get set up? It's not like it's even that big a thing. You just gotta give me a little warning before. Well, maybe not a little warning, but just give me a moment. She is the Normandy? No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before ED even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, ED agrees with me. ED's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie... I feel like this is a circular conversation. Okay, I'm, I kind of feel like he's closer. The collection of processing hardware contained in that ship, those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Okay. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Okay! Okay! Commander, Calm Adams down! With our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Okay. Sheesh. All you have to do is say, Commander, we need this. Important. Cool. Got it. I will get it for you. I'm starting off this episode super sassy. I don't remember where the heck I was. It's another situation where I took an extended break in between when I played the last session and this session. So, I... Last thing I remember happening was we cured the genophage, but I feel like I did one more session after that. I don't know if I'm remembering or... Will you give me a moment, trainer? Jeez. Email. What did we... Wow, there's a lot. Okay. Okay, well, Pharaohs... Okay, cool. Still fighting from Shiala. I don't remember who Shiala is. Yes, that's that's all well and good. Impressive work from General Corinthus. Corinthus. Okay then. Great respect. Okay. I thought that one would be from Rex. Okay. Da -da -ba -da. Okay. Cool. I'm deeply disappointed in your action on Chichanka. You were gonna... Uh. I thought... I thought she seemed like she was kind of okay with it. And then she's like, I am vastly disappointed. She's like, parent. And then again, I'm not 100% sure if that's a he or she, the Delatras. Okay, we don't need any of this. There's something we can do over here. It's got a big thing. I was like, go here. 
Well, then again, maybe not. Find anything, Edie? No. Edie, you never find anything cool. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's just another Cerberus. What's this? Find artifacts. Oh, I thought I was supposed to be finding artifacts when I was on Tachanga. And I was like, I'm not, like, screw this. There's a giant worm chasing me. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, Reapers. Calm down. Oh, finally you find something, Edie. Thanks. Oh, shoot, the Reapers are, like, all, all the way alerted. Let's get out. What do I want? Oh, wow, I got nine? What if I... What did I do last time that got me so many points? Wow. I mean, I cured the genophage, I suppose. I probably did it, but... Dang. I guess we'll do grenades. Or at least level the grenade up a little bit. Nah, I want to do... I want to do damage. Okay. Two... Okay, and then now I'm just going to have to wait for the next time. The year is coming along. Coming with me a lot. You know, I mean, maybe it's just the familiarity... Or the concept of familiarity, or whatever the term is. There's, there is a term for that. But it's the fact that Garrus and Liera were from my first original team, so I kind of have more of an attachment to them. Which was about the same in Mass Effect 2 when uh, the end of the game came and I wanted to protect Tally, even though I never really used her that much. It was the concept of familiarity that made me like really really kind of try to protect her there at the end how do you want me to handle this go in the back bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops good luck commander i have visual contact all right the pad. there's always a problem there, but it's got to be now sheesh do it. you should be used to this shouldn't even be a surprise anymore to you cortez Have you ever successfully landed us once, Cortez? Like, seriously, though. Oh, I saw a drop down, break my legs, trying to get in. To take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. They've seen us. All right, cool. Whee. Where else do we get Cerberus buds? Oh, hey. Oh, that's Garrus. They're behind me then. Oh, thanks, guys. Come on. Sheesh. I had the button for the stabbing thing held down, but then, nope. Chuck Testa. Also, didn't want to pole vault off the, there was, that wasn't even pole vaulting, but you get the idea. Where is anything now? I hear them fighting again. Shepard, up the ladder. Where did everybody go? Someone shooting, oh hi. You're right there. That's a thing. Oh, for a second, for whatever reason, I saw that down there. I was like, it literally, I literally thought I was picking up a magazine, like something you read. All right. You two could, it would have been great if you two of you could have just stayed right where you were. Like we found the control center. Uh, just gotta make sure I'm getting all the things that I can here. Damn it. This'll take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's gotta get those defenses down ASAP. Liara, I'm counting on you. Right away. 
she seems a little bit more tech savvy than Garrus. Although Garrus does all the cal well, Garrus, that's, I guess that's the reason why I shouldn't put Garrus on it, because he will just sit there and calibrate it for like six hours. Hey right, Garrus, you got you can do um uh, maybe he can't. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Hey Garrus, shoot him in the back while I got him this way. Garrus, do your job. Sheesh. Hi. That's a good tactic. Instead of just sitting there and taking... Oh, well, maybe that's not as good of a tactic as I thought. Because I thought maybe if I start to reload and then, like, leap out of the way, but then it didn't work that time. Oh, I guess it worked that time. Ow. Rude. Oh, am I supposed to be protecting Liera? Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Liera. I got your back. System deactivation prioritized. Awaiting shutdown command. Shepard, the shutdown command must be synchronized. Okay, you and me both. If I get... Shepard, I swear to gosh. General Order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Shepard, I'm tracking a long extended deployment to the lab in front. And that's where we need to go. Oh, hi, you. Oh, I thought that was like a snow speeder. guy like disappear too where oh that's a thing I could I almost look past it ow rude rude Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Of course. Deploying armed response. Shepard, look out. Give it everything you got. Oh, one of these. See, the way they were building it up, I thought it was going to be like another... Like... Another wave or something. Nope, it's just one thing. One thing that I will take down in like less than a minute. I think so too. Just the usual minor flesh wound. Tis but a flesh wound. My ears. You know, one thing I noticed way back in Mass Effect 1, I don't think I ever said it aloud. Because I think the time I realized, or the time I noticed it, I wasn't actually recording. Oh, shoot. I'll, I'll shut up. Crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Some positivity for once. Well, yeah, anyway, I'll say what I was going to say while I'm waiting for this door to so, go through. Because uh, the way it was, the one who joined it was uh, the Normandy, the way the ship is designed almost looks kind of like similar to the heads of the Geth. So that was like what I thought, like maybe. And then when they started talking about like, well, all the Prothean, like everything was based on Prothean technology and it's all like coming down to the same thing. I thought, okay, well, maybe that's interesting. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. 
Anyway, Edie. How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the cyber warfare suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. Hello, Shepard. Okay, you got nothing to say. Neither do you. And after that, I need to use the restroom really bad right now. <laughs> like it just hit me out of nowhere. I was fine when I sat down to start filming, but then all of a sudden, boom. So, um, actually, it'll, let me just go back to the mass relay and be safe from the Reapers and I'll be right back. I have never noticed how annoying this music is until I just had to hear it on a loop while I was in the bathroom. Gosh, dang. I feel like, to be fair, the bathroom is like one room away from where I record. So, yeah, let's... Maybe I ought to turn the volume down a little bit. So that way we can, uh, like... That's the thing, though. It's like, I have a hard time hearing the voices sometimes. Because I have to turn it down, like, I can't have the volume any higher than 10. Uh, because if it's higher than 10, then sometimes the voices pick up on my mic. And when that happens, it's no fun for anyone. Anyway, we gotta go here, meet the Solarian, we gotta find the thing for the engineer. I already forget what it is. I don't know where I'll find it. Alliance oh, this is worthy of a cutscene. Normandy, are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Oh, Cerberus. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No, I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. I still have the gun on my shoulder, even though I'm in my regular clothing. Okay, Garrus. Time to take back the Citadel. You ready for this?